So part of the RV experience is obviously driving the RV, the driving experience. In the new journey, we have the new, a newer version of the Freightliner offering of the shifter and steering wheel. The shifter has a new stock, which is now a rotary uh, shifter. You have uh, more controls on the, sh on the steering wheel itself to control the OptiView. So the first thing you always wanna do is press the brake to wake up the system, turn the key to accessory, let the glow plugs in the diesel engine warm up the engine. Once, you, once the plugs show that they're ready and warmed up, you're ready to start the engine. So some of the basics that, that's new with the, with the Freightliner system, you'll see it's a new steering wheel as well as a new shifter and, and uh, stock. So the shifter itself is similar to what the ML series uh, cars are, where it's an electronic shifter and it's basically a rotary button that goes back and forth so to engage the exhaust brake, simply push down on the lever and you'll see the indication that it's on, on high. One of the first things that you do when you're in the vehicle is you're always testing your brakes. By to do this, simply press the brake down four or five times and ensure that you have enough air pressure in the system it will give you a warning of low of low air, which you can see inside the cluster right now. Simply wait for it to build up uh, with the pressure. As you can see, it goes beyond 75. Now you're back and you have full pressure. Simply to take off with the, with the coach, press on the brake, turn the shifter to drive, press the the air brake down or parking brake down and you are ready to go. And when you're ready to stop, pull the air brake, put it into neutral, let go of the brake, and now you're, you're parked. Some of the features that I would like to show you is on the cluster as well as on the steering wheel. So you have your trip one, trip two odometers, trip odometers, you can go down to gauges and set up what kind of gauges you would like to see uh, in front of you. Down to fuel economy, which is my preferred view, so you know exactly what your distance to empty is and your fuel economy. You have your vehicle configuration, which this is where you, you can change your dash brightness set Bluetooth to the Freightliner system, and you can speak through the system for, with your phone. Pair any additional fobs, change your, your units, whether you want it in metric or imperial, and so forth. Then you also have a diagnostic, which, which is very important. So you can, you can check your faults, you can check your internal diagnostics, so you know if you have headlights, uh, lamps that are out and so forth or other information here that if you call one of uh, a dealer tech they will ask you and you can have the preliminary information so personal preferences for me when taking off on, on an RV is first off and foremost making sure that your steering wheel is set where you like it secondly I always set the air horn. Third, make sure your shades are in the position that you like them. And you have all your gauges uh, to where you want them set. Again, make sure that your, your brake is on, which is always an assist, and you're ready to move.